now use summation fy0 so for that consider this point 3 n1 it is on negative side so point 3 n1 next we have this weight which is minus 150 into 9.81 then we have this y component which is 0.3 into sine 10 after that we have this y component which is a minus into cos 10 sorry not minus it is on the positive y direction so plus into cos 10 and this is equal to 0 so from this you will get second equation in terms of n1 and n2 so from this calculate the coefficient of n2 for n1 we have minus 0.3 n1 So plus 0.93 into, and this is equal to take this term on the right side. So 150 into 9.81. So it is 1471.5. So this is your second equation. So now we have two equations in terms of n1 and n2. Okay. So you can use the equation mode for your calculator. In the equation mode, select the first equation, which is ax plus by equal to c. And then put this matrix values as first is 1, after that minus 0.47 and constant is 0. Next is minus 0.3, then 0.93 and constant is 1471.4. Solve this and you will get the value of n1 and n2. So you will get the value n1, this is equal to 876.55 Newton and n2, this value this is equal to 1865.01 Newton. So actually we need this value because this is the common value for the block and the wedge. Okay, now consider the second pivotal that is for the wedge.
so this is the pre-border diagram for the wedge now here we have to resolve this point 3 into n2 force and this n2 along this x and y direction so for the point 3 n2 i will select i will select this point and draw one horizontal vector so this is your x component and draw the vector parallel to y axis now this angle this angle is nothing but 10 degree so this component will be the adjacent component so its value is 0.3 n2 cos 10 and this is y component so this is 0.3 n2 sin 10 similarly resolve this n2 so draw one line parallel to x axis observe this x axis second line parallel to y axis now this small angle this is 10 degree so this component it is the opposite component so it will become n2 cos 10 and this component is adjacent component so it becomes n2 sin 10 remaining forces n3 this weight w this friction force they are along this x and y direction no need to resolve the forces so use summation fx0 so for the summation fx0 i will start from this component which is n2 cos 10 on the positive side after this we have this component it is also positive 0.3 n2 cos 10 then we have this component sorry this force which is a friction force which is 0.3 n3 and then this p force which is on the negative side this is equal to zero okay so in this equation only n2 value is known but we don't know the n3 value and the p value so write the second equation summation fy is equal to zero so for the fy this is the y component which is minus n2 sin 10 then we have this component which is plus 0.3 n2 sin 10 sorry actually this component is adjacent component so it must be cos this is n2 sin 10 and this is n2 cos 10 so just change this n2 this is sin 10 and here we have n2 cos 10 This is minus then 0.3 n2 this is sine 10 and this w or this n3 plus and minus w so minus 50 into 9.81 this is equal to zero now put the value of n2 okay from this you can find out this n3 value so try to find out the n3 value so n3 is equal to this minus n2 so it will become plus on the right side so n2 value just we have found out this is 1 at 65.01 into cos 10 minus so this is plus on the right side it will become minus 0.3 into 1 at 65.01 into sine 10 and this is negative it will become positive so plus 50 into 9.8 so find out the total value So it is 2230.01 Newton. So this is the normal reaction N3. Now put this normal reaction N3 
in the summation fx so you will get the value of v so n2 is 1865.01 sin 10 plus 0.3 this is also 186501 cos 10 plus 0.3 into 2230 0.01 and this is equal to p take this on the right side so if you solve this complete equation you will get the value of p So this p value, this is equal to 1543.86 Newton. Okay, so this is the minimum value of the force peak. So if you apply this minimum value on the given wage arrangement, so here if you apply force which is equal to 1543 Newton, then the system will be on the verge of motion and even if you exceed the force beyond this value then you can see the complete motion this object it will start moving in the upward direction okay so this is the minimum value of the force p so that the system or the wage and the block will be on the verge of motion Okay, so this is how you can solve the problem on the wage friction. So important step is we should decide the impending motion direction for all the contact surfaces. And after this, draw the proper free body diagram. 